So let's not waste any time. Let's jump into the seven ways that you can actually start making money right now using your camera to shoot video. And I'm also gonna give you a mini lesson in each of these seven tips on how you can start doing it faster. Okay, so the first one is probably the best and easiest one, and this is shooting stock video. Now, before you think stock video is played out or you're not gonna make a whole lot of money on it, let me help you out. The problem most people struggle with when it comes to doing stock video is it's a lot of effort to get the stock video up. From the time that you have to spend going through your hard drives and uploading it to all the different stock platforms, and then you have to go through and put in all the metadata, keep track of all the finances, it can be a lot. Stock video is normally not not easy, but with today's video sponsor, Wirestock, it is super easy. So to make the whole process easy, Wirestock is a single stop location for all of your stock video and photo needs. You simply go to their website, create an account, and then start uploading your photos and videos directly to them. The nice thing about Wirestock is all you have to do is upload your content to them, and they actually go about making sure that it is uploaded to all the other platforms on your behalf. Now, you might think that doing this is going to be expensive or it's gonna cost you money. Well, here's the best part. Wirestock actually just takes a percent of the sales. So what this means is that if your video or photo doesn't actually sell, Wirestock gets nothing. So there's literally no cost to you when setting this up. They put all of your videos and photos on all the major platforms as well. I'm talking Shutterstock, Adobe, Pond5, and a lot more. So if you have footage already, the easiest way to start making money with that footage you've already captured is to go ahead and upload that to Wirestock. Honestly, I'm now using it as a place to where I, when I first come back and I start shooting my content, I'm gonna start uploading my content straight through Wirestock because there's really no downside. And by the way, I'll have a link down in the description to check them out. So the second way to start making money right now shooting video is by shooting TikToks and Reels. Now, there's actually two ways you can make money in this fashion. One, Instagram is actually paying people directly to actually create Instagram Reels, which is a nice additional bonus. But you can also start offering the ability to shoot TikToks and Reels for clients. And one of my favorite ways of doing this is by putting clients on retainers. I actually have two clients right now that are on retainers and all I do for them is shoot TikToks and Reels. This is a great marketing push for them, but because Instagram is one of those content platforms where you have to be consistent, by being on a retainer, it allows me to go and shoot for them once or twice a month and be able to shoot tons of content in that single day and then give them enough content to be able to post over the course of the entire month. The best part for you as a videographer or filmmaker is this means now you have some consistency to the money you have coming in to your production business. Speaking of business, the third way you can actually go about making money right now shooting videos is by offering to shoot corporate videos. Now, one big note when it comes to shooting corporate videos is no, corporate videos sometimes isn't as much fun, but it can be very, very lucrative. And the main way that I find making corporate videos very lucrative is don't go in there pitching a single video. Go in there with the idea of shooting three types of videos, and this makes it very easy. Every company needs basically these three types of videos. They need one video that is about the company, so this is their about us video. The second type of video they need are testimonials. No matter if they are a service-driven company or a product-driven company, every company needs some type of testimonial, and so make sure that you offer that. And then the third one is some type of just overarching video that can be shown to potential clients. This one is more about the product or service that they are offering, not so much about the company itself. By being able to offer these three different types of videos, a sales video, an about us video, and a testimonial style video, you can go in there and offer a package of videos. And ultimately by selling packages, you'll make more money as a videographer. Now the fourth type of video is kind of one I just have to put in here because Honestly, no matter who you are, if you started shooting videos, you probably have dabbled in this a little bit and that is shooting weddings. Now, if you like shooting weddings, like, Personally, it is a fantastic way to make some great money. You shoot only on the weekends. You normally have your entire week to do your edits or to do whatever else you need to get done. And it's an easy way to make a good living shooting video. Now, if you don't know really where to start, I actually created an entire wedding training course that goes into not only how to shoot it, but also the business side of finding brides, 
finding clients or being able to deal with them, all of that great stuff. That'll all be linked down below in the description. That right now is on pre-order, but the course is coming out very, very soon. And so we're really excited about sharing that. But if you don't know how to shoot weddings, I would strongly recommend starting with that course. But weddings is a fantastic way to start making money because Everybody needs a wedding videographer. People understand the value of it. You're not having to sell it like you used to. So if you are trying to get started making money, weddings is a fantastic venue. All right, so now tip number five is actually one that you can see taking place right here, and that is having a YouTube channel. But I'm actually gonna throw a slight curveball. Now here on my channel, I talk a lot about filmmaking, and if you're watching this, you're probably into filmmaking, but I would strongly recommend that if you are gonna start a YouTube channel, I would consider shooting a YouTube channel that has nothing to do with filmmaking. Hear me out. The main reason why I personally think that making a YouTube channel that has nothing to do with filmmaking would be so beneficial to so many filmmakers out there is because you can then take your skill set of a filmmaker and apply it to a niche that's not used to seeing great quality. For example, let's say you are going to create a cooking YouTube channel, but most cooking YouTube channels are shot with their iPhone, or they're not lit very well, and it's really more about the cooking itself. Well, if you are a filmmaker with the skill set of a filmmaker and you start making cooking videos, you're gonna be able to take all your knowledge that you've obtained as a filmmaker to produce the best quality cooking videos out there. What this is gonna allow you to do is to stand out in a very cluttered market space, which is YouTube. See, the thing about YouTube right now is there are a lot of channels out there, but not a lot of people are able to do it at a really high quality because they just don't have the knowledge. But you, as a filmmaker, do. So this means if you can get into a niche that is not filmmaking, but then get into that niche and apply your filmmaking skills to it, you're really gonna stand out. If you make a generic filmmaking channel, it's gonna be much, much harder to stand out because everybody who's in filmmaking is gonna pretty much have a good looking filmmaking channel. So I would strongly recommend starting a YouTube channel in a niche that's not filmmaking and you will stand out and ultimately be able to start making money through that channel. All right, my sixth tip for you guys as far as ways of making money, and that is shooting real estate videos. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you know this is one of my favorite ways to make money as a filmmaker or videographer because the cost of entry is so low. First of all, shooting it is not super, super difficult, and if you need some assistance with that, I do have a course on that one as well, links down below. But if you are trying to shoot video when it comes to shooting real estate, this is an area that is so easy to get into. The main reason being is there are tons of houses being sold, tons of realtors who need video, and the gear to get into shooting real estate isn't very high and you don't need a lot of it. The other nice part is you can do a lot of it in a single day, which means you can bulk shoot and make a good living just shooting real estate video. Now I understand that there's an entire business side of shooting real estate video that maybe you're not so comfortable with, whether that's how to find clients or how to invoice clients, all of that is covered in the training course, which you can definitely check out. But I personally believe that if you are a very new beginner videographer and you're trying to start making money shooting video and you don't really know where to get started, you want to work with clients, but you also don't want to have a super high cost of entry. Real estate is one of the best options available. And the seventh and final tip that I have for you guys is to rent out your gear or your services to other videographers. So hear me out. There is an actual entire website which is not sponsoring this video called ShareGrid. And that is an entire platform dedicated to filmmakers renting their own gear to other filmmakers. Now, yes, it is limited to only a very few amount of cities. However, I will say, even if you are someone who's outside of those cities and you can't rent your gear through that platform, there are tons of ways that you can still reach out and put your gear and your own services to good use and market it to other filmmakers. For example, one of my favorite ways to do this or one of my favorite ways just to find out what other filmmakers are in my area is just go to Instagram, literally go onto Instagram, type in hashtag the name of your city filmmaker or the name of your city videographer. And if you do this, 
you'll see that there are tons of filmmakers and videographers in your area who are already out there shooting. This is just a great place to start networking, but also you can reach out to these other filmmakers, send them a DM and let them know that you are available to second shoot for them. You have gear if they need it. You can be able to provide it on set or just really be out there and be available. A lot of times as freelancers, you think you have to take every single project that comes your way or you have to go find every single project that is out there. But a lot of times, Partnering up with other creators is really the good way to go because now you don't actually have to do all the work of taking every job or trying to find every job, but really you can partner with other creators and partnering together is really the way that you will find true long-term success. But there you have it guys, those are my seven ways that you can start making money today. I wanna thank Wirestock again for sponsoring this video. I wanted to keep it nice and short. So if you have other options as far as ways people can start making money today shooting video, leave those down in the comments and maybe even give them how you have been able to actually make money in those different industries so we can all continue to grow together. But until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.